A ver, bueno, nos falta solamente una cosa. Okay, esto. No tengo ninguna misión respecto a esto. What a pile of junk! It got damaged in the fight. It'll fix up just fine. Eso no. Esto. You're confident. I'll give you that. Está tumbado el que. Lo de la fuente. Esto es lo de la fuente. I welcome you, come as a native soldier. Claro, es una quest para entrar. Esto no sé por qué te lo marca la gata, pero bueno. Puede ser que esto. No, no creo que sea lo de Winte. Digo. The statue reaches toward the bottom drops out. Realmente no sé dónde está Winte. Voy a revisar acá y ver si está. Y si no está, no importa ya. He hecho millones de quests, millones. No sé dónde puede estar. Allá mira, no creo que me diga. You're lucky that I enjoy a bumpy ride, my dear. I'm still eternally grateful for all you've done for me, of course. In fact, I've got sword fighters. Oh. Hurry along now. We'll need to find Dallas before it's too much for you to just take care of yourself. No, important. Yeah, well, no, I cannot stop. It's rare because Windego should be in the in the. Episodio no, no estaba, o sea, digamos, la vimos, ¿no? Pero no parece. Debería estar acá abajo. No está. Está sentada aquí. Tal vez no está porque salvé al tipo, puede ser. Bueno, así es el caso de en realidad ahora mismo. Ya. Me queda tan poco que no quiero alargarlo más. Ya. Y hoy día voy a descansar un poco de voy a jugar un mano norte, creo. Es algo completamente diferente, pero el más tarde yo creo que es un raro. Pongo, yo. Hay que ir acá. Voy a acabar con esto. La cara me quiero equivocar porque según yo. Si no, te van a, si no te van a matar, o sea, vas a morir. Eh, de verdad. Vamos a ver si anda. Pone que el, lo que dice aquí. Algo cerró la puerta. Mirando esto, diría que estamos cerca de Lucian's cuerpo. Lo que dice aquí dice... Espera que te... Dice, para superar la prueba de aceleración de la sangre debemos colocar en el momento de carga de fuente en un mecanismo que se encuentra en la columna izquierda de la cámara de la estatua de Alicia. Tenemos que leer el pergamino de estiración. Ahora, lo voy a hacer con un personaje. Hay un curioso panel discretamente nestado en la pared. Upon it is a lone button. Hay un slot en el centro del button. It looks like something should be placed in it. Primero poner esto. The amulet fits the slot perfectly. The mechanisms around it begin to glow with source. Ahora, sacar el pergamino. The button slowly sinks into the wall, as if pushed by an invisible hand. 
The source fades from the amulet, consumed by the inner mechanisms of the button. Gears turn behind the ancient walls, almost like they're acknowledging the words you spoke. A nearby hatch in the floor unseals itself. Hey, guard woken. Remember me? I owe you my thanks for paving the way. When we made our little deal, I had no idea of the things you had done. <laughs> I had no idea who you really were. Do you know who you really are? You think you're the divine in waiting, but you're just another pawn, a stooge for Ahu and the Seekers, those arch traitors. They're the enemies of divinity, and so God Woken are you. I am the only one left who can save Lucian. I am his holy warrior. I am the one true loyalist. I am the truth. I am the real. You are wrong. You are the mistakes. All of you are the mistakes. A razor smile unfolds upon his lips, but his eyes are gone. The light in them has turned black. Any time he may have had as a sane and functional human is well and truly over. Um, yo no lo, no lo quise matar. Soy un estúpido, pero bueno. Era una oportunidad. Ahora va a morir. Yes, my lord Lucian, I'm coming. I'll free you. I'll protect you. I'm coming, my lord. I'm coming, Lucian. I'm coming. I'm coming right after I...
That's one problem solved. Now on to the next. Solo una visión. Sign of Lucian's body. Has yeah. Dallas beaten us here? Ah, okay. Yeah, I got it. I have to make a video because I don't want to lower it. I have to do it. Ah, okay. 
Yo veo que falta aquí es agua sulfurada. No sé si esto se puede hacer así. Aquí. Sangre bendita. Agua bendita. Pero faltaría uno, faltaría la. Aquí está agua bendita. Agua bendita. Agua bendita. ¿Dónde puedo grabar? Esto fue antes de entrar... The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. The blessed altar seems to want to be touched. Shifts. The altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks, as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also echoes and gurgles behind. A blessed stone altar. The cool in the space beyond the altar, the pipework shifts. Supongo que tengo que llevar, bueno, y haber una guía, pero. Beyond.
gusta que hayan videos de YouTube, la verdad, van a romper. Yeah. Uh -huh.
The altar seems to respond. The altar seems to respond. Beyond it, something creaks, as if the pipework was moving. The sound comes from beyond the altar, but also echoes and gurgles behind. A blessed stone altar. In the pit beyond, things move. A blessed stone altar. The cool stone seems to... In the pit beyond, thi A blessed stone... In the space be... Voy a hacerlo de nuevo porque está mal hecho. Está bien. Esto. Bien. Porque me equivoqué. The altar seems to respond beyond it. Llora está bien. Pues, y se ve así bien. Tiene un par de cosas. Tiene mal. O sea, de todas las cosas que hice, solamente dos estoy completando.
ya, bueno, ahora grabo de nuevo por si acaso. Que no sé lo que me espera abajo. Eh. Y acá ya estamos en el final, o sea, estamos a un punto de llegar a la tumba de Lucio. Y ver la batalla final. Pero... Venture no farther. Only death lies beyond. Blood need not be spilled. Bones need not be broken. Preserve thyself and flee. To cross this threshold is to plunge into thy grave. Do not decide in haste. Very well. Embrace thy fate. Roommate. Charming. Look out. I see a trap nearby. Look out. I see a trap nearby. Another one? How many more could there be? In this episode, I don't know if we can finish the game, but we're going to get it. Moving to rapid descent, cranial disruptor! Okay, man. Reinforcement deployer. Oh, reinforcements deployed. Another one. How many more could there be? Moving. Oh, you're not trying to escape, are you? 
name to Arvius Manipulator. to make them stop. Could there be?
Claro, es lo que yo hice, pero no, pero no le pasó nada. I don't think that was the right lever. I don't think that was the right lever. Ahora, el de la fuente, ¿cuál será? works. I felt something. Look out. I see it. It feels like that lever did something. It feels like that lever did something. Okay. 
careful. I've spotted a trap. Something happened, I think. Lever. Must be getting closer to Lucian's crypt. You reach for your weapon, but as the small void woken skitters forward, you get the sense that it's not here to fight. It looks at Fane, clicking and chittering in excitement, and introduces itself. Fane starts in shock. He knows it. The Void Woken was a colleague from Fane's days at the Academy, his assistant. It claims it knows how to save the Eternals. It promises Fane that if he can snatch the powers of the Seven, then he can restore his people. Not under the rule of the God King or the Void, they would finally be free. Fane turns away, pensive and quiet. Even as a skull, you can see the pain etched into his face. So, lo que pasa es que aquí hay una brecha un poquito grande que es la que Sí, esa es bueno, él quiere ser divino. Y ella también quiere ser divina. Y él no se sabe todavía, pero no sé. Yo creo que mi personaje. The truth hangs heavy upon the air itself, unspoken. This is the point of no return. Somewhere beyond this point, you shall be undone, or you shall ascend. There is no middle ground. What's that, Quirkus? Do you have something? My goodness. Here we are, Quirkus. This is it! What do you mean, Quirkus? Of course I'm prepared. I have my noble steed below me, and my trusted shield beside me. What more could I need? His whiskers crack into a mischievous smile. And... I may have cracked the spell that will stop the great acorn in its furious tracks, if that's what you mean. That Sir Laura turns to you, his beady eyes shining with pride. I owe you an apology, Shield. At the start of our journey, I wouldn't have believed a human would lead me to the discovery that would save us all. But I see now that my prejudice was foolish. Without you, Quercus and I might still be stuck on that abominable prison island. Now here I am, here we are, on the brink of saving the world. Indeed, Quirkus and I will find an advantageous location and do just that. Meanwhile, you must prevent the servants of the Acorn from interrupting us. Solora takes a slow, deep breath 
and lets it out in a rush. You feel it, don't you? It's so still, but there's something behind it, too, like a thunderclap waiting to fall. The great acorn is nearly here. Its servants are poised for impact. We've known this moment would come. Now it is time to put my research to the test. I am ready. Quercus is ready. And you, S.H.I.E.L.D.? Sir Laura nods in return and grabs your pinky with his tiny paw. He gives it a decisive shake, then salutes. No matter what happens next, S.H.I.E.L.D., there's something Quercus and I want you to know. It has been an honor. Now, onward! You come here often. I don't know what you did, but you just released a source blood. I thought I'd come and see what all the fuss was about. Should have known you were getting yourself into trouble. Looks like the big moment has finally arrived. I will do everything I can to support you, Godwoken. I will pray for you. I think you'll need it. Don't underestimate the power of true prayer. This is a place of incredible power where a single prayer holds the weight of thousands. Your heart and soul will fill as quickly as they're drained. Consider it a taste of your divine future. The people will pray for you. In turn, they'll trust you to do right by them, as I'm trusting you to do now. Of course, it's up to you whether or not to listen. I know how I'd respond, but you do you. Malady wearily chuckles to herself, then bows her head in a show of unexpected but sincere reverence. Looks like my investments paid off after all. I need worship only one divine, and I believe he stands before me now. You've shown me kindness in the face of my sins. My worship is the least I can offer. I've always preferred to be the one reaping the attention, but you've turned the tables. I suppose it's only right, seeing as how a new divinity may stand before me. Now go. Rivalon needs a new divine. Demenso. Ya, bueno, hagamos... No voy a alargar, o sea, no voy a hacer otro episodio. Solamente en este episodio voy a terminar todo. Eh, no hay necesidad, ¿sí? Que se alargue, no hay necesidad. If I'm... God Morgan. Dallas said you would come, old friend. You were always hard as diamonds. And... Twice as bright. Your divine welcomes you. The traitor himself, the divine you once selflessly served, the one you thought dead, lords over the chamber from a granite throne. He moves to speak, but it's Riedemann's voice that next pierces the air. What a twist. Lucian frowns at Riedemann then bestows a benevolent smile upon you. All that you know of him flashes across the panorama of your mind. I underestimated you, Godwoken. You have proven to be a formidable foe. You have my respect. Respect? Indeed. Lucian's gaze rests upon you and goes through you. He takes your measure entirely. Lucian, we should tell him the truth. Yes, I agree. It is time we dropped our masks. Dallas nods, then reaches for the sides of her head. Where there was one face, suddenly there are four. She takes off the mask of the shapeshifter. A skull is revealed, bejeweled and ancient as the void. I am eternal. 
Aren't they just full of surprises? Fear not, old friend. Dallas is on the side of all that is good. She is helping me rid Rivalon of the influence of the Source. Listen to her. I shall tell you the tale as I told it to Lucian. Long ago, the Scholar Fane discovered that the veil between the world and the Void was made of Source. Our Seven Lords desired this power. Of course. Silence, slave. Our king forbade the Seven to reach for this power, but they didn't listen. Instead, they rebelled and sent the king and his people into the void. With the source they stole from the Vale, the Seven created the races so they would have worshippers. Really? I'm shocked. Shut your mouth, Ifan. I know you wish not to believe him, but Lucian tells the truth. That will not do. The Etiran is the salvation of Rivalon. It contains almost all the source that was ripped from the Vale. Except yours. The plan is almost complete. We have made so many sacrifices, Ifan. All of us. Of ourselves and those we love. One last sacrifice is required. For the future of Revelon, you must surrender your source. Decide. Be the true hero and give up your source, or be forced to submit like a coward. Like There is no other way. The source of the world is required to close the veil. Or we only lack yours. Ifan, my friend, these were sacrifices that had to be made. You were but one. Each of them pains me, but I would make them all again. I made so many sacrifices, Ifan, and now so must you. Then let us proceed. Show some responsibility, Father! Surrender your source! Sealing the Veil will lock our people away forever. They will never be free of the Void. Though if they return, what becomes of this world? Fane turns to you. In all the time that you've traveled together, you've never seen him like this. He's trembling with emotion. And you, my fellow adventurers, Together, we have seen more than generations of mortals could ever see. You have seen the horrors of the Void, and I... I have seen this world through your eyes. You showed me how beautiful it really was. There is no one else I would trust to make this choice. Whatever you decide, I will follow. Qué bueno, porque necesito gente que me ayude a habilidad. You'll be a hero. Everyone will know the sacrifice you'll make. Your name will be synonymous with the survival of Rivalon. Don't let them do this to us. But our souls, there has to be another way. No, never. I understand. Sacrifice takes courage. But I shall help you. Though it pains me. 
Your sacrifice shall be made for you, Dallas. I'm sorry. You've come such a long way. But there is too much at stake. This is the end. A ver, hemos peleado mil millones de veces en este juego. Eh, hemos peleado contra entidades, contra cosas muy fuertes siempre. Eh, y esto no me va a parar. Yo creo que no. Voy a tirar contra... Probablemente... Quiero pensar bien, porque... Probablemente contra los líderes. 70% de aire Veneno 200% o sea, Lamentablemente yo soy... Bueno, veneno no puedo usar ¿no? Entonces, Yo sí puedo usar aire Aunque es 70% Juego 50 Ya con 40 o sea, Voy a tener que usar lo que tengo ¿no? Me queda otra Ahora le quitaron el sonido a los spells, por lo que veo. Esta parte es todo. Como que se escucha más el fondo que los spells. Wow. Si no contra él, ¿eh? o sea, es lo otro. Igual me están dando peticiones, digamos así. que voy a dejar a los otros para el final
ーつてみたいな。えっと、こういうの Vamos a la cara nomás, no me importa, voy a esperar a que se carguen todas las habilidades. Este si no lo voy a usar acá, ahora me voy a mover. ¿no? Los ángeles son los menos difíciles, la verdad. No, no sé si son ángeles, pero no creo que sean ángeles. No, no. Ya, ya la quedé. Quiere decir que tiene que purificarse. La idea es que no muera. Tenga mucho para que muera. Muere él. Are you feeling poorly, Dallas? Good. You shall not seal the veil. And now it is time. I call on the God King. Come claim what is yours. How? What? You are unleashed! Vredemann cackles in delight at this turn of events. His unbridled glee slithers into and around your pockmarked bones. You left the leashing wand next to me, you stupid maggot. So accustomed had you become to me pretending to be your slave. Kill him! Do shut up, you tedious buffoon. And don't look so surprised. As if I would allow that bone bag Dallas to enslave me. Me? You should have listened to Tarquin, you worm-ridden wench. Nobody enslaves Bracchus Rex. <laughs> I am Bracchus Rex. I am the Source King. Yes, kill him. Now! Too late, you moldering, blight-stained pigs. Grant me power, my ally. God King, I call on you. The God King hears my call. He sends a companion worthy of my power. Come to your father. No. Come to the Source King. The Hibara Finale. Miren quién es el hombre sentido. El líder Kim. Esta vez, verga. No, es 
estaba, estaba poniendo muy cristiano. Voy a matarla a ella, yo creo, o sea, porque me va a seguir jodiendo. Oh, verga. What the fuck, hermano. Esto se puso brígido. ¿Qué hago? Eh, no puedo llegar, o sea, puedo saltar y llegar, pero... Va a poder volar, supongo, ¿no? Glory is mine. Eh, what the hell? Yeah, get going. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. No pega una mierda. Bueno, que nada de esto pega mucho, gente, pero bueno, de algo puede servir. No creo que el fuego le haga mucho daño. No, igual le hace daño. me tiro contra uno, lo mato o... La idea es centrar todo el ataque a uno, creo yo. La idea para mí es centrar el ataque a uno. Pero esto es ya un nivel de dificultad a otro nivel. Si quieres salvar el punto, te lo aprecio. Lo veo bien. Porque como lo matas a él. 
Ahora esta tipa tiene eh, una habilidad de cabrona. Que es la habilidad de. ¿Qué es esta? No, no me gusta porque lo que hace es. Obliga al personaje a atacar. Y... O sea, usan trampa este juego en el porque ¿cómo pasa? Lo que voy es que si sí, ya yo la verdad fue que aguanto ahora. Pero es demasiado. Yo, o sea, como que al final lo, o sea, lo puedes lograr, sí, lo puedes lograr. ¿no? Pero sí siento de que te la pones muy bien. Bicho. No sé cómo voy a matar a ese bicho, la verdad. Bien. Y no saco mucho, o sea, no saco mucho. Podría saltar. Tratar de sacarle lo mayor posible. Y acá. Voy a tener que usar algo de trampita porque honestamente es imposible que yo lo pueda usar. Sigue suponiendo cosas. Este tipo no sé cómo lo vamos a matar. O sea, no, voy a tener que usar algo porque si no mata a ese tipo. Eh... Si 
no mato a, a, a este dragón Exacto Como que no me dejan hacer lo que quiero hacer Ni siquiera se le puede pegar de esta forma Sorry, pero en esta parte del juego sí voy a usar algo que va a estar la torna. Eh, no me conviene. No quiero perder esta batalla. Y empezarla de nuevo. Pero se pusieron cabrones. Se puede ser un combate sí, difícil, digamos, pero normal. Ya como que el juego quiere matar. Glory is mine. Lo que no entiendo es por qué sigue vida. Glory is mine. Lucian struggles to rise, but the weight of his own pain leaves him to gravity's mercy. My time is done. But you, your source burns so bright I'm all but blinded by it. Be wise and true, Godwoken. I am... Dallas groans in pain. I have failed. The future of all that is rests on your shoulders. Here we stand, once more on the cusp of divinity. But this cup, so long thirsted for, I willfully let it pass from me. All my life has been a lead up to this, to be the king of kings, god of gods. I will not say it was in vain, but I will say it was vanity. If I were to chance upon my throne right now, I would sit down beside it, cast my glance to the horizon, and think of worthier things. I'd think of Sadha, my great love. I'd think of my children, their joyous dance through fiery skies. And of course I'd think of you, of the adventures we had, of our unlikely yet heartfelt friendship. Yes, I'd sit there, thoroughly contented, and wait for you to ascend the throne. I know. A mischievous smile. But I do have to add, likewise. Listen, this is it. Again. And I want you to know I'm not putting up a fight, not against you. My revels are now ended. Yours are about to begin. I've had my vengeance, my life and my liberty. You helped me win them back. And then, when you told me you loved me, all of me awoke. All I want now is for this to end, to be by your side when we wage the final battle. And long, long after. I know you do. And I love you too. Now kiss me. You kiss each other passionately, ready to face the darkest dark. Well then, this is, as they say, it. I never dreamed that after all this, I would be standing here with one of your kind. Let alone that I would be proud to do so. I cannot imagine someone I would trust more with divinity. Including myself. Fane lays a bony hand on your shoulder, squeezing gently. Do you know? I believe you will. You think back on your journey here. On all that you have seen and done. 
You think of the Magisters, and the sorcerers they hunted, and of the good and the evil on both sides. You think of how the Eternals came as Voidwoken to reclaim their stolen world. You look at the source around you. The power is immense. Divinity at your fingertips. You think of what you could do with such power. The rights you'd wrong, the wars you'd win. You marvel at your journey and how it has changed you. You think of those you left behind, and of those you met along the way, who stood by you or against you. It's time to choose your fate, and the fate of all you hold dear. What shall it be? Shall you be divine? Uh, durante todo el juego, nunca usé nada para poder ayudarme. Siempre me las, me las, me las usé solo. Y de esta vez sí, eh, o, digamos, ya por si acaso. Eh, pero fue un juego increíble. Ahora te lo pones muy bien. Anda. After all that you have been through, and all that you have done, all that you have become, the Aetiran lies in front of you. Divinity is yours to take. Or to sacrifice. What you do next decides your own fate, and the future of the world. What shall you do with divinity? A ver, podría liberar todas las almas, pero no lo voy a hacer. Eh, ha sido demasiado difícil llegar aquí para no hacerlo. Pero... Sé que no es lo mejor, pero si fuese yo el divino, tomaría buenas decisiones. And so it ended. A tale that began with my own ill-fated attempt to rid the world of the Godwoken. A new divine rose, a true heir to the Seven, more powerful than ever, and united Rivalon in its battle against the Void. All across the realm, he was loved, worshipped, and adored. Humans, lizards, elves, and dwarves all rallied to his banner. The Great Allegiance stood once more, but the war continued. From the depths of the Void, the God King still sought to return. As for me, my last hope of ever being freed of the God King's terrible tyranny faded when the God woke and claimed divinity. An eternity of pain and suffering is mine. I cling now to the dream that one day the veil will be sealed, that one day I can be freed, that one day a new god woken will rise. Malady stands tall and proud, sunlight sparkling off her mask. From here she looks almost angelic. Well, here we are again. You, me, and the ship I've saved from ruin for your personal benefit. I'd say you owe me, but why stay the obvious? Get an eye fool, your holiness. I expect it's the last we'll see of each other for some time. She turns to you. Arms crossed Para and grins. Tres, Look at you. Magnificent. Actually, I've never looked better. Except for one small thing. She fingers the mask covering her face. For a moment, it seems as though she's about to remove it. But instead, she places a hand on your shoulder. You've come a long way together. I did my best by you all the way. I sacrificed much. I'd give even more to see you become exactly what you've become. Soon, 
I'd like to have a little chat about something you can do for me. But I believe that can wait. Relax. Enjoy. I certainly plan to do the same. Oh, I don't know. Around and about. Treat myself to some mead, a lover or 300. I'd say we've earned it. And when the time comes, I'll come find you. Your holiness. Well, well. Look what the cat dragged in. A god, no less. He smiles at you fondly as he takes you by the hand. You've done us proud. You saved the world, didn't you? We all knew only one of us could walk away with divinity. I'm glad it was you. Home, if you don't mind. After all, I've dragons to raise. I need to teach them to be good boys and girls before they set the entire world on fire. There may be an accident or two along the way. Please don't hold it against them. I do so long to see my palace again. The Forbidden City. The scents of spices and incense. The sound of sitars in far-off rooms. To sit all day in perfumed shade and watch the white of the marble change with the journey of the sun. But above all, I long to be with Sadha. Long to finally have the time to love. Oh, uh, but... Before you go, remember how when we first met, I took you by the jaw to inspect your teeth? Not something one forgets in a hurry. Now, if you recall, as per your own testimony, you can cook, tailor and groom. Three quite indispensable talents. At the time, of course, I couldn't have foreseen the adventure ahead, but... Now that it's quite over, I'd like to renew the opportunity for you to become my slave. What say you? Taken quite by surprise, he staggers back, blood dripping down his nostrils. I take that as a no, then. Fair enough. But next time, please, use your words. <laughs> I've never been fond of what the Divine stands for, but I must say, it's rather exciting to say I've been up close and personal with one. Reform my ways? <laughs> How adorable. No, I'm afraid I cannot escape who I am and what I've done. Her eyes flick down to your mouth. She smiles coyly, then slinks forward to kiss you. Her mouth meets yours and devours you with predatory abandon. Somewhere in the recesses of your mind, you think you hear her voice sigh, mine. But something to remember me by, darling. Hmm. Who knows? A nice cottage someplace quiet for Mahali and I. A roaring fire and a feather bed. <laughs> Maybe. But a girl needs some fun. Doesn't she? You're the new divine. That's so cool. What's it like? I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty neat. There's also the matter of my payment for all the stuff I've done for you. That he taps his fingers and mouths silently while he counts, until he arrives at an acceptable figure. Thirteen hundred thousand dozen and fifty-teen gold pieces. Now pay up. Oh, yeah? What's that? Pan ponders your suggestion for all of a second. You got it! Everybody better watch out. Pan will get you if you come too close. But you better believe the bill for that will be a doozy. Losa winks and curtsies in playful reverence. Her spectral gaze twinkles. Well, if it isn't the new divine gracing me with his presence, <laughs> how honored I am. That is the question, isn't it? 
How does one top the greatest feat of necromancy ever conceived? I might have the answer to that. Tell me, have you ever heard of Gustafchen? No, of course you wouldn't. It's a written language, unreadable to most, but myself naturally. It comes from a mysterious race from another world, beings that feed on minds. I intend to seek them out. This Gustafjan seems to guard portals to their realm. And once I've uncovered one, well, why settle for being the greatest mind in just one world when there's another for the taking? Beast Spirit smiles as you approach and begins to sing a tune you think vaguely familiar. Here, here, the wild beast just sails on the ocean. He's docked in the bay and coming your way. Off on the yawn, you hear the commotion. He's docked in the bay and coming your way. The cupboard can't hide you, nor can your birth. His daggers don't care about the gold that you're worth. He'll bury your bones neath a mountain of earth. He's docked in the bay and coming your way. He pauses, then continues to hum all the while working his ghostly whiskers. Well, well, Quirkus, look who finally graced us with their presence. I suppose some thanks are in order. What? No, no, you should be thanking me. I just saved the world from the great Aegon. You're welcome, by the way. Honestly, Quirkus, some creatures have no sense of perspective. A huge grin slowly spreads across the squirrel's small face. Of course, had you not stopped this god king and his lackeys, there would have been very little left for me to save. So? The cat moves forward twisting around your legs and filling the air with the sound of dry, dusty purring. Ah, quackers! Please have a little decorum. This battle is won, my friend, but we still have a war to fight. We've undone the great Echo, but the Knights of Drey are still out there. They summoned the great Acorn once. They will be able to summon it again. We have to destroy their order. Once and for all, that is the future Quirkus and I have ahead of us. We no longer need a shield, but we are very happy to have a friend. The honor is all mine. I pray we will not need to call on you, but I am grateful for the offer. I never thought I would be proud to have befriended a giant, but there is no one. I... Ow! Oh, Quackers! There is no one that we would rather have walked this world with. I do not know what comes next for you, but you will always have a friend in the forest. Come, Quackers. We must... <laughs> oh, I think you have something in your eye, my friend. The cat curls up and snuggles into his squirrel friend, who quietly sits and sniffs on the deck. Amazing I'm still here. That we're still here. That Lucian... Well, that relationship always was complicated, wasn't it? You're so much like him. My instincts tell me to kneel to the new divine. I've done so before, after all. But... I can't drive myself to do it again. Gareth beams. For the first time, he is his own man. Yet his enthusiasm is not a man's, but a child's. A friend, yes. That I know how to be. For a moment, his mind wanders to memories of friends and enemies, of malady and magisters, of demons and divinity. He is then in the present once more and smiles at you. Friends. I find a way to fit. 
I wasn't just content to lurk in Lucian's shadow. I was his shadow. Now I stand in the sun as my own man. I just, and so I find out. My goal is to have a goal, if that makes sense at all. And if it doesn't, well, that's all I've got. Darling, there you are. Come, let me take a look at you. I've never known a god before they became divine. I was curious if it would have changed you. She gives you a long, assessing look, but makes no immediate comment. Really? She paces around you like a cat, looking you over. Well, you certainly look the same. But there's something in the air around you. It vibrates ever so slightly. There's magic in it. Power. Don't you feel it? Maybe you should give it a bit of time. I imagine it takes almighty power a little while to settle in. That quite depends on you, I suppose. Is a deity permitted to mingle among us mortals? She laughs, and it's music to your soul. I certainly hope so. We love each other, after all. A kiss, and oh, how sweet she tastes. Love conquers even divinity. O sea, me encanta esta parte, la verdad. Más allá de que sea el señal y todo, es buena onda conversar con la gente que te acompaña todo el día. Fane is reading a volume of Cranley Hubert's famous encyclopedia. He leaves through it slowly, muttering to himself. Hmm, interesting. His eyes stay fixed on the book as you approach. Fane looks up, his gaze carefully drinking you in. Fascinating. The power of my people. The power of the Veiled. All in one delicate mortal shell. Who could have imagined? <laughs> I don't doubt it. The skeleton looks back to the book. You can feel the grief radiating from him. I can't help thinking that I could have saved them. That I could have done... something. Right. An interesting concept. You creatures talk about right and wrong as if they are carved in stone somewhere for all to see. No. I made a choice. And I shall live with that choice until the end of days. That doesn't mean I cannot mourn them, though. They deserve that much. The skeleton hefts Hubert's dog-eared encyclopedia, its weight heavy in his hands. I've been rereading this book, looking over your history once again, poring over every detail with a new perspective, and do you know what? It's shit. Fane tosses the book over his shoulder. It flutters in the air as it sails over the ship's railing and disappears with a faint splash. If you have spent your life staring at a thing, you can write about it with knowledge. You can write about it with love but it is almost impossible to write about it with wonder. You creatures have spent your lives trudging about this world, and you've grown blind to its miracles. Take otters, for example. Energetic, waterproof cats, utterly beautiful creatures. Or octopuses. Did you know they're secretly pl- Octopuses? Octopi? O octopods? Oh, I shall have to look that up. Regardless, the world is filled with absolutely incredible sights. And who better to catalogue them with the awe they deserve than someone seeing them for the first time? Do you know, there is the idea that nothing is ever truly created or destroyed. I suppose we are all source, just in different forms. You being the cruder, less jewel-encrusted form, naturally. But my people were sourced too. 
although we didn't know it at the time. And our source helped create you. In a way, I was walking alongside the best version of them the entire time. In you, I found a home better than the one I was pining for. Thank you, Godwin. Yo creo que hasta aquí llega, porque la verdad no hay nada más que hacer, o sea... No hay nada, uh, ya está todo listo, hay que... La primera vez que veo un juego que no me tiene un crédito, la verdad. Que no me tiene ningún crédito, nada. Entonces, pues ahora es bien. Ya hablé con todo, ya no hay nada que hacer. It gives me almost as much pleasure to speak to you as it does to be whole again. I will always be an ally to those that carry source, to those whose blood is of the heroes of old. And so, as always, I am at the ready. You look out to the endless beyond. The sun's light plays upon the waves just as it always did. The sails flutter in the wind, just as they always will. And yet, something is different. You are different. And with a start, you realize where you must go next. You speak the command to the Lady Vengeance, and another chapter begins. War raged on. Arx remained the center of power as the races united behind the Divine. But the Voidwoken attacks continued as they did elsewhere. Arx would see many more long years of war. The ancient Empire of Lizards became one of the pillars of the new Divine Alliance. The Houses of War and of Shadows were particularly useful in the fight against the God King. The Empire used the war to expand its territory. With Justinia dead, the Dwarven Kingdom descended into chaos. But although they did not join the Divine Alliance, many joined the fight against the Void and did their people great honor in battle and in death. With Lucian gone, the Elves reluctantly rejoined the Divine Alliance. Their place in the War on the Void would entirely depend on the integrity of the new Divine. And on the integrity of the Elven Godwoken who did not ascend. And here and there, across the world, what was left of the Black Ring fought on. The island of Fort Joy remained a sorcerer's paradise, a place of exile for those whose sorcery threatened to bring in the void. For their well-being, its residents depended entirely on the benevolence of the new divine. Reaper's coast struggled on. The farms and the fisheries fought to feed the people, against the Voidwoken Blight. The Black Pits took fire. The oil there burns still. Driftwood teetered on the edge of starvation until the night the Voidwoken came from the sea. All were killed. This did, however, put an end to the famine. The Nameless Isle had vanished. Although only open water remained, by instinct ships would steer clear. None of the captains could articulate why. Sir Gareth thanked the surviving Seekers for their service and gave them their freedom. Disillusioned with ongoing war, he set out alone to find a new purpose. He would never stop seeking. Young Han grew up a warrior and became one of the Alliance's greatest generals. But even he could not win the war. 
Almira and Mihaili settled in an abandoned homestead. The locals liked and respected Almira. She never wanted for help, and deals always fell to her favor. Outsiders were often suspicious, but no local would speak against her. With a new divine at the helm, Malady had a powerful ally, but she was in no hurry to call in her favor. After all, it might be the last thing she ever did. Having performed the greatest act of necromancy in history, Tarquin found the new world unchallenging. He became obsessed with rumors of another plane of existence. One day he vanished and was never seen again. Ahu the wizard served the new divine with honor, wisdom, and an at times unnerving feline elegance. The undead priestess Gratiana remained in her sanctuary, happy to wait for the war to pass. She was troubled only by the silence of her goddess. Jehan the demon hunter never stopped hunting for demons. Sahela sought to strengthen the elven alliance with the new divine. Her powers of sight proved useful in the ongoing war against the Void, but she could never be sure that the new divine trusted her. Fane travelled Rivalon, notebook in hand, recording the wonders he discovered. He kept a socket peeled for signs of the Eternals, hoping to find the wife he had lost. He's still looking. Sibyl wandered the world. She became a household name, famed the realm over as a travelling hero, celebrated wherever she went. Enjoying life to the fullest, she was truly and finally free. On his return to the Empire, the Red Prince was hailed a hero. He married Sada, and they had many more dragons. Soon, the Prince became the Emperor. Faced with dragons, the Void did not gain the upper hand in the Empire. And then there was you. You, Ifan Ben Mezd, the Silver Claw, the Redeemed Divine. What did you do with your power? What kind of divine were you as the world battled on? Did you show mercy or strength? Did you sacrifice others as Lucian had done? Did you regret becoming divine? Did you wish you had surrendered the power that runs through your veins and sealed the veil? Only you know the truth. Only you know if you atone for your sins.